everybody in here on my my end. And you know, see, eight thirty in the morning is uh, the time in which I try to be creative. <laughs> but it is afternoon for you on Saturday, right? It's four thirty here. Yeah, it's much much better time. I'm not sure I'd be as awake as you at four eight thirty in the morning. No way. And and I'm not drinking coffee or anything like that. I'm just having water because 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 if I have coffee, I'm already excited to to do this <laughs> with you. And I would be like all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I am so so happy that you said yes. I am so, so happy that you said yes, instead of kicking me to the curb and going, I'm above that. I don't, <laughs> do, I don't do lives because I am the jump rope queen. By the way, that's the, that's the name I, I gave you. Name. I love that. I love that. Is it? Okay. <laughs> so for, for all of your friends uh, and all of the nine followers that I have, uh, so, <laughs> they, they have no idea I gave you that name. So if they want to fight with somebody, they have to fight with me. Maggie did not, you know, proclaim herself. I did as not. The jump. It's no. very true. <laughs> that, that, was, that was all me, 24-7 me. I actually, after we did the pre-show, I decided to give you that name. But it took me a while to actually, you know, put it out there. Because I said, oh, I don't want Maggie to get in trouble. Somebody goes like, hey, I'm the queen. And then there'll be a, like, you know, social media fight about, I do I'm, jump I'm rope not better. a fighter. I'm just not. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I can attest to the fact that you're the most easiest going woman to get along with uh, that I have ever met because all you want to do is smile and jump rope and help other people. That's kind of, yeah. yeah that's that's pretty, pretty much what I yeah, assess. Yeah, those, those, those are the three pillars of Maggie. <laughs> okay. So today I have, I do. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know exactly what I'm going to do. So, so I just want to have fun. The whole purpose of this uh, particular page that I have, I have three public service pages. This particular one, I just like to have fun. I like to let people just do whatever they do that is positive and, and, and encouraging to others. But I like them to show off things that they know how to do that I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> I I jump rope. I just want you to know. I jump rope. I love it. It's the, like the number one thing, other than volleyball and throwing frisbee, it's like the number one thing I love to do is jump roping. And I just started back doing it last year. Cool. And it, it, is, it is one of the most encouraging things that I could do for myself. But when I saw you jump roping from virtually – the beginning of what I could see. This is last year I started looking at you. And I was like, this is unbelievable that you walk us through your 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 practicing your tricks and your skills. It's like this is so cool. And then <laughs> I and then I did this. And I said, okay, I gotta I gotta have her on the show. I gotta I gotta go after her and she can all all she can do is say no. <laughs> and you great. said yes. <laughs> and I did them. <laughs> so tell everybody who Maggie is and where Maggie is. Oh, okay. I'll start and, with where Maggie is. That's the easier answer. Uh, oh, I'm from oh, Manchester oh. <laughs> in the UK. Um, and it's very cold and it's very wet outside. So I'm a little bit envious of you right now, even if it is 8.30 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> Um, and who am I? Uh, I'm a personal trainer. Um, I jump rope, which I only started in May. Um, so, uh, you know, not the best, but I've done all right. Uh, but most importantly, I enjoy it. I don't have fun. I lost you for a minute. I got, I got you back. I got um, <laughs>
Yeah, oh six months. I have, I'm look. I'm looking at it right now. I have watched. I have watched just about every single thing that you have done before I, before I ever contacted you. And I just, it has been, huh? It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> feels like I mean, right? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go back to bed. Anyhow, so, all right. So, since the lockdown, you have made jump rope, jump roping a part of your life's routine. Yeah. But you're also a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. I am, yeah. So there, there are many sides to you, and I got to, yes, many sides, many sides. I think I saw that during the pre-show prep, which was a lot of fun, because uh, the people you work with really love you, because they, oh, they, right, <laughs> they, they really do. I was, I was even going to, I was even going to tell you, hey, look, if they want to be in the background like they were when we did the pre-show prep, <laughs> because... <laughs> That I I uh, I found it quite interesting. I've done a lot of pre-show preps, but that was the first time I met so many people in the background. So, <laughs> like they, they all wanted to see who you were talking to. Yeah. The guy from, the like, guy what's from, that American voice coming from? Yeah, I know. Who's that American voice you're talking to? Our, our Maggie. I was like, hey, I'm just trying to get her on the show. That's it. <laughs> so now, um, I have to I have to ask you, who are the top three people? that you jump ropers, uh, that you watch or get classes from or do stuff online with other things, who do you keep an eye on that you get tricks and skills from? Oh my goodness. You want me to limit that to three? Crikey. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, listen, wait, wait. I've got mine. So it's like, First of all, this show is not for everybody. I just, I, I, you know, and and that's the whole point of this page. I know there are certain people that they may they may like my brand and they follow me and what I'm doing. And they go like, oh, this is boring. It's okay. It's okay. I'll have something you like. This jump rope stuff is for me. Okay. <laughs> I put this on and I'm going to have other jump ropers that I'm going to have on. But Maggie is my, is my special guest forever. She is my premier <laughs> special guest on this page forever. She will always be the one who will come on and be the main jump roper of the universe. And <laughs> I know I know tons of others that I've talked to and they've been doing it longer than Maggie, but just understand you have a specialty. Maggie is a special guest. <laughs> so there's a difference. There's a difference. Okay, go ahead. Who you want who you want to name? Who you want to okay. give a shout out to? Well, I've got to start with my coach is the jump rope coach, Chris, Chris Walker. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know, yeah. He's awesome. He's awesome. I have, I, I, have you, have, well, I know he's your coach, so he's the main coach. Have you spent a lot of time talking to him or anything like that? Yeah, so we meet every fortnight on Zoom. Well, no, on okay. WhatsApp. And um, he coaches me for an hour on there. Um, cool. Yeah, it's really good, really good. And I get homework. He always gives you, all have seen, like, people. Really? Being, his homework yeah oh, so you always get homework and you get to work on it homeworks have got progressively harder there are times when i'm like really really <laughs> <laughs> he definitely believes at times i'm more capable than i am but then that's the point of a coach right that's, that's the, the point. point yep that's the point he, um, he, well, who else who else you got um so i'd say um also rep, i mean we've got to represent manchester in it is uh, my mate Depp, who was watching, I don't know if he still is. Hi, Depp, if you're watching. Um, he was one wait, of the wait, first wait, wait, people I followed who? as well. Wait, who? Who again? So Deck MCC 10 on Instagram. I think I've seen that. Yeah, D-E-M-C-C-10. I yeah. see you out there. Map. <laughs> see, I'm sorry. I've been, I've been paying attention and looking at you and only you, and I have been ignoring <laughs> all the comments. And I'm sorry, everybody, if I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore you on purpose. I really am truly in my heart excited that she's on the show and I get to do jump roping on my show. And, and so D D E C M C C 10, I got you. Yeah. I see you. he says Manchester represent. So you represent Manchester. Uh, yeah. Manchester's in the, Manchester's yeah. in the a, house. He's another man clad. And, uh, <laughs> and he has this really cool, right? You watch him. I think they've called it the deck swing. And like, he goes so fast with the rope from side to side. Really? That's like his signature move. Oh, dude, seriously, I'm going to have to follow him. You know what? You know Go what's follow. really cool? Okay. What would be really, well, he is he in a position to, to do a show with you? It, who's in a show? To, who can do a show with you in person? But I know you have people that you jump rope together there where you are. 
Yeah, like yeah. Like. So, like, on a Friday, I've started meeting up in the park with some people. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Helen, you met Helen. She works Yeah, there. yeah. She just started. Um, and uh, oh. she um, she's she's getting coaching now from Chris as well. Um, so, oh. we go over and skip together sometimes. And then Susanna comes and joins us. She's for uh, a Czech girl who now lives in uh, Manchester, just outside of Manchester. And so, she messaged me. She was like, you live near me. Do you want to meet up? I'm like, yes. Yes. So we did that. <laughs> So that's like a, 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 a weekly thing now, I think. Um, yeah. And then um, we're, we're planning to meet up with some people next Sunday. I don't actually know what the rules are at the moment on how many people I can meet up with. I might have to have like socially distanced groups of six or like. I was like, going to say, uh, yeah. I actually yeah. don't know how well, many well, people well. have to meet. You're gonna be socially distanced, and you're gonna have a you're gonna have a, have to have a bullhorn or, or a microphone so everybody can yeah. hear you. But it but it would You've be the not coolest. Heard me, Paxton. You've not heard me, have you? I, oh well, that's take that back. Go ahead. <laughs> no, there. Okay, there are there are probably two or three videos I could attest to the fact that yes, you could probably have a very loud voice. I've seen a couple of them. Where, where even you give you can give a high five from a distance and say it really loud. I, I mean, I heard you all like, man, she could probably yell that out pretty good. So, <laughs> so um, the the ladies that join you, I've seen some of the videos. The ladies that join you, uh, Helen, you said just got started. Yes. The Helen. Okay. So uh, you're starting your own little uh, jump roping troop, as it were, the little group. It's like a little troop, isn't it? Like a little group. Yes, that's what I asked. For. That's what I thought of when I saw it. I went like, dude, that would be so cool if you like guys had the, like the same tennis shoes on and the same the same uh, clothes, and you had like names on it, and it was like the, the Maggie's troop. It was like Maggie's troop, and, it, <laughs> and you, you had little. Can I call it like the Manchester troop? There you go. There it is. There. No, but you gotta have your name. You gotta go Maggie's Manchester troop. That, that was, that, <laughs> You have a fitness thing. Tell us about the, the fitness uh, page that you have. Is it Spark Fitness or Spark Fitness? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Spark Fitness. Um, how did that get, how'd that get started? Um, how did that get started? Uh, that was almost five years ago when I left teaching and didn't know what to do with my life. And so I thought, should I be a personal trainer? <laughs> and then that's where it came out. Uh, it seems to work okay, so I'm still doing it five years later. Wow. Okay, so now, when you started Spark Fitness, were there people that thought you were out of your mind when you started? No, there weren't actually, no. Okay. That was, yeah, actually, it's other people that encouraged me to do it. I was probably the one who was like, oh, you know, so they were like, oh, you know, so yeah, I think it was probably more of the people that pushed me into it. And it's always a bit of like fun Like, I really, it was one of those, teaching which I love with fitness which I love and if you put the two together isn't that a perfect job uh, but then there was me <laughs> but you okay so teaching and fitness you put together you're a marketing genius and so you put those two together now spark fitness um you incorporate jump roping with your clients yeah or no Sometimes to do a little bit. So because I've become so obsessed about it, I, <laughs> I have started getting to do some like cardio and, and then people started asking me to do bits and things like that. Like I'm still very much like I've been doing this six months and I'm a fail on the seat. So it's <laughs> only so much like to see someone else in the moment. But I like to have some fail on that. Okay, so the fail that you have are actually pretty cool. <laughs> no. So when you when you when you post your fail, they are actually great teaching moments. <laughs> so, they're great they're great teaching moments of what not to do. So it yeah. works it works it works pretty good. So yeah. and and you your your facial expressions when you fail are the best. They they I watch them just to see your I wait for you to fail so I could see your facial expressions, which are too cute. They're too funny. And it's like, okay, failing is not that bad because she's showing us that you can still be cool even when you <laughs> fail. So what do you miss? Everything away with me. I, yes, like, it does. 
Yes, that, it does. There's, there's yes. no fail. Or I'd be useless at poker. <laughs> no, no, you could not. You know, I've never played poker, but I'm just saying you could not. You could not play poker. Not your face, your facial expression gives everything away. So, so. Uh oh, wait. I'm making sure. Making sure. I know. I, I knew somebody was typing something in here. So, uh, what does that say? High low skippers. Who's the high low skipper? Is that is that or hello skippers? Hello skippers. Um, uh, oh yeah, rap skipper. Hello. <laughs> okay. So follow, yeah. this, huh? <laughs> uh, well, she, wait. Somebody um, says oh, sim simple, simple side jumps. Oh, hi, simple side jumps. Fails are entertaining. People should always pay pay their fails. They are entertaining, though, aren't they? See, I like those. I well. agree. Well, well, well. Wait a minute. Yours are entertaining. I don't know. Some jump ropers. They put fails on and they shouldn't put their fills on because, <laughs> because their face gives it away the other way. It looks, I mean, they get so frustrated and I feel sorry for them. You know? <laughs> but when yours fail, I can tell that you, you want to get back in there and try it again. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you have some fails that are, that you do when you were in your backyard. I think it's in like your backyard or whatever, or, and, and is, some yeah. of them, your frustration is so cute because it's like, I can't believe I did. <laughs> <laughs> but but all skippers, all jumpers, everybody goes through that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you... that's it. But no, yeah. go ahead. Well, if you, if you only put the success, this is one with Instagram a lot of the time, right? Is you just see everyone yeah. doing really cool stuff and you're like, well, I want to do that really cool stuff. And actually, I hit myself in the face way more than <laughs> I actually jump over that rope. Okay. In fact, I was in a school on Tuesday because um, I, I go in and help my friends with a skipping club there, which was started because they can't do a run club because um, of coronavirus. And... Um, I was in there on Tuesday and one of the, uh, the, I showed the kids double unders, taught them how to do double unders. And they were like, can you do it backwards? I was like, mm, no, I've never tried. Probably not. But they were like, I was like, okay, I'll try. <laughs> so I attempt a bounce and then a backwards no, smack myself in the face. And they all went, ooh. And I was like, it's okay. I don't think I'll be able to do it. <laughs> and they were like, why are you scared of the rain? I was like, because this, this happens all the time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so so have you ever successfully done a backflip then? No. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Okay. No. So, so, so would you try a backflip for us today? No, I'm just joking. Don't do it. Don't no. do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. I was just joking. That would be like, that That would be great. That would be great TV. That would be great Instagram TV. If, if all of a sudden you go like, yeah, sure. No, I don't want that. <laughs> No, because then then they'd have to call the ambulance and then they you know the well, medics would have it's the yeah. end of the show and we wait yes, for the yes, ambulance. Exactly, yes. <laughs> and then, then it'll be all over the news in the UK and here in the States that some some American guy got this poor innocent <laughs> Manchester girl. So describe Manchester to, to us here in the States. What is Manchester like? Manchester is one of the friendliest cities that exists. Um, it's kind of small. It's not like a big city like LA. It's not sprawling. It's like going to one of your small suburbs of LA, like Huntington or somewhere like that. And, or maybe a bit more like San Francisco. Maybe that's a good comparison of it. Um, and it has a tram system that takes you around. Um, and it's it's a cool city. We're cool in Manchester. We know our stuff. People are friendly. Like, if you go to the south of England, right, and I'm probably going to upset people in the south now, if you go to the south of England and you go out onto public transport, um, no one will talk to you. Everyone sits at this. Okay, wait. So that's that's the south of England. Yeah. So south, like south London. of England. Like London. London, same thing. Nobody will talk to you? No one will talk to you. No one talks to you. Especially not in London. Everyone's like, I am going here. Oh, okay. Whereas you come up here and you go and stand on a tram platform in Manchester, someone will have spoken to you within about five seconds. How you doing? Wow. Have a nice day. We well, like that. Wow. Okay. So So London... Uh, uh, no, they're very tunnel vision. They don't socialize, but okay, got it. Got don't it. go to London. Come to Manchester. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Manchester needs to pay you and your friends to do a a commercial promoting people to tourism to That's come it. to Manchester tourism with your with your jump ropes with your jump ropes telling yeah. people. Oh, that's such a good idea. 
Okay, so I just gave you that. There you go. I want to see that. That it should be like a, a travel, a, a travel um, tourism uh, uh, commercial, and you and your friends should be with shirts that say "Come to Manchester" and doing the whole skip row. That would work. That would work. I'm, I'm telling you, you need to be on it. You did, there you go. That's right. Hey, you know what would be cool is if you guys made one first and then sent it to them. Yes. Send it to them and say, hey, if you guys pay for better production, we'll do another one, you know, for <laughs> you. And, and so no, just hey, there's a go. There's a marketing idea right there. But okay. you'd have to be you'd have to be come to Manchester with your Spark Fitness shirts on though. That yeah, way yeah, you, yeah, get, yeah, you get the marketing for it. <laughs> Anyhow, so do us do us all a favor. But you know, I told you I love jump roping. I, I love it. I love it to death. I love it, love it, love it. I have my daughters when they bought me one more rope. I, I probably would collect a bunch of ropes just for the fun of it, the way I would have shoes or ties or shirts. But um, I love having jump ropes. I just love them, even if I can only use one at a time, maybe yeah. two at a time. But um, show us a little bit of what a beginner needs to have in mind. That's why I, I wanted you on beside, I, I just love talking to you. Um, I, I just, I want those who don't know about jump roping if they stumble across my page, they'll be able to get an idea of what they need to keep in mind to get started. So can you show us a few things? You, yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna be our tutor. I love it. That's, that's <laughs> it. I'm gonna use my rainbow ring. Yay! Cool. <laughs> so now now this is the this is the Maggie and Paxton show on jump roping. Maggie's gonna tell us what we need to know when you wanna get started jump roping. Okay, all yours, Maggie. Okay, so the first thing I say is you want a beaded rope. This is a beaded rope. Let me show you a little bit closer, actually. So it's a bit different yeah. to like CrossFit or other types of ropes that people might have used. Um, yeah. It's because it's got a nylon cord to it and then beads on it. And it's heavier, so it gives you feedback. And then you want to make sure your rope is short, not long. Most people like have ropes that will come up sort of like here when they hold it. And both handles yeah. will be up there. That's too long because you'll trip over it. I'll make everything a lot harder. So when you do your rope, you want to step in the middle of it, hold the handles out away from you, and then you want it to come anywhere kind of between your armpit and your hip. This is one of my longer ones, but I, I just shortened this one, and I'm still hitting myself in the head with it, but that's <laughs> making me go a bit short. You see how short that one is? So rope length is that important. Don't make it too long. And then you just want to start with a single bounce. So over and jump over. Oops, I'm hitting things. I'll turn this way. That's a single single jump, right? A single, yeah. So what I'm doing as well is I'm making sure I don't jump too high. So a lot of people when they start will be like that. And that's a lot of energy wasted. And it'll make it much more tiring than it needs to be. So I'm making sure I don't jump too high. Because if I jump too high, it's like you're jumping off a cliff. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, so you want to make sure that you, uh, you just come a little bit off the block. So you only need to come as much as the rope passes underneath, and that's the only amount you need to come off the block. And land on the balls of your toes, and twist from your wrists rather than from your arms. So the rope stays nice and close. So make sure we make sure, a person wants to make sure they use their wrists and not their arms. Yeah. So it comes from there. It's like you're scooping ice cream. Got it, got it. Or turning a spoon in yogurt. Got it, in your, <laughs> yes. Very, <laughs> very healthy choice, but I'm going for the ice cream. Okay. okay. <laughs> taste better, taste better. <laughs> and then the other thing I'd say you want to learn quite quickly is the toe catch. So Chris taught me to toe catch. You just lift your toes up and catch the rope underneath it. And that means you can always stop so no matter what you've been doing, you end on a toe catch. Got it. And then learning the toe catch means you can learn harder tricks because you can learn placement of the rope before you have to jump over it. So for example, say I wanted to learn a cross, I don't have to jump over a cross. I can just toe catch it. And I know it went the right way because it's underneath my feet. So toe catching is a really good thing to learn. Just lifting the feet and letting it drop underneath it. Got it. So that's um, called a that's called a toe catch, right? That's right. That's a toe catch. So we've got single bounce and a toe catch. 
And then I say the things I learn quite quickly, like when I watch people, and maybe this is me because I used to dance when I was growing up, but I was really into the footwork. So like I learned the boxer step, which is just skipping from one foot to the next. So both feet land on the floor, but you put more weight onto one foot than the other. And that's quite good as well if you're going to skip for a long time. When I was doing my charity skipping in May, I did 5,000 skips a day. And just bouncing constantly on two feet was quite tiring. But being able to skip between them made that much easier. Okay, so that's... Did you say a box step? Is that what you said? Boxer, yeah. Like a... Oh, a boxer. Okay, got it. Boxer. <laughs> so you, you can alternate back and forth. By the way, I, I am... I am going to play the role of the student. So I will I will constantly repeat what you said so that for those for those uh for those that are watching have never skipped before or done any jump rope, trust me, even if you did 30 seconds of it, <laughs> there just it will change your life. It you will get an adrenaline rush. Yes, you will be tired. You will be working parts of your body you have never worked in your life but it will be worth it in the long run because it burns so many calories. It burns a lot of fat, much quicker than a lot of other things. So yeah. it's just something for people to keep in mind to add to their to their, um, to their, their routine. I'm sorry, what else do you have there? I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, you're all good, you're all good. Um, so yeah, so they were the first two I learned. And then I learned other footwork as well, so just like skipping. Um, I like the straddle jump in and out. And footwork's a really good one to learn because you learn the coordination of your feet with your hands. So you learn to relax the top part of your body and almost forget about that whilst you're working your feet because you're thinking about those. So it helps you learn the coordination of it really quickly. Okay, so kind of relax the top part of your body. Uh, so you say straddling. Show us a little bit more about straddling and how you do it. It's something okay. I don't. I, I'm, I'm going to have to. I'm going to work on straddling. Uh, but show us what you have in mind when it comes to doing straddling. Show us. Show us. Show us at full at full Maggie speed. <laughs> <laughs> full Maggie speed would be about there. And wow. you can go out and in, and you can also go forwards and backwards. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm still working on that forward and back. So strat <laughs> straddling is about relaxing the upper part of your body? Yeah, all footwork is really. So anything you want to do with the footwork, you've got to kind of forget about what's going on with the upper part of your body. So right, as right. soon as you can kind of make that something that you don't think about, that just happens. And then you can concentrate on what your feet are doing. So footwork is really good for like practicing that <sighs> relax into it kind of thing. So you kind of relax into it. What was that last little step, kick step you were doing? Oh, I like that? that one. That's cool. What is that called? So I watch, um, you know, like um, on Instagram, I watch uh, shuffles. Yes. yes. Reels, you know, all the shufflers. Yes, yes. <laughs> And so I watch them, and then I'm like, oh, can you do that with a jump rope? And then I try that with a jump rope. So, yeah, I get some <laughs> no ideas. Way. No way. Okay, so cool. That, that's pretty cool. Now, now <laughs> you, have to, you have to tell me this. When, when you started doing jump rope, how did that kind of help you emotionally when you started doing jump rope? Do you know what? It made a massive difference. So I started because... We were in a national lockdown here. Um, we had been for about a month and I was running my business entirely online. And I'm a real people person. I, I love interacting with people and it's harder on a screen. Um, and I was struggling with Zoom as well. So my groups, which are always like full of banter and so much fun and it's a real community feel to it. I was having to mute everyone. So Zoom didn't chuck me out of the room and it just felt really like so lonely. Uh, even though everyone was there. <laughs> and I'd say to them, I was like, I feel really alone, even though I know you're there. <laughs> It's just me talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it just felt a little bit heavy, you know what I mean? Like, everyone was going through the same thing, but I felt like I needed something to take my mind somewhere else. 
Um, and so I decided I was going to do a challenge because a challenge would keep me focused and I'd use it to raise money um, for, um, for charity. And I had to find something that I didn't already do because who's going to pay me to go for a run? I've run ultra marathons. No one's going to pay me to go for a run each day. So <laughs> I was doing kettlebells. I did that all the time. Um, so I thought, I'll do something I haven't done before. I'll, I'll jump. I've never done jump rope. Like last time I skipped, I must have been about ten. So, um, so I chose that, and I didn't realise when I chose that how much of a difference, like mentally, that was going to make for me because yeah. it gave me, it, it gave me a couple of things. It gave me something to focus on, even outside of the five thousand each day, because sometimes that was hard because that was like that number and you have to do it. But outside of that, it was something I can just go and do and just forget about everything else and just concentrate on it. But also, right. there's the, the natural endorphins, of course, you get from like moving your body um, in that kind of way. So it was, yeah, it made a really big difference to me. I think it helped a lot. And I'm still using it for that reason now as well. You know, before, fitness was something that I kind of, I enjoyed always enjoyed it since I've started doing it as an adult but it was something like I had a program for do you know what I mean and I'd be yep, like right yep. well, today I'm going to swing this kettlebell and then do a Turkish get up and then lift this barbell and it was just kind of like, meh, meh, meh. and now this is something that's like right let's just go and see what we can do what what's there what can I do yeah. today and right. and if I've, if I've got spare time I just pick up the rope and I'm like oh I was gonna try this out I'll just try it out so yeah it's kind of it feels really freeing it, it is it is such an adrenaline rush. Um, you know, some so somebody's gonna see this and they're thinking, Oh, they're promoting jump roping and I just I just can't do it and I just don't wanna do it. I understand that. But when someone tries it, it can it it is very addicting. If yes. they're in a if they're in a position to do it, you know, with their ankles or knees or whatever the case may be, even if they just did a light bouncing, uh it it's amazing the adrenaline rush that happens and takes place. Yeah. It, it, it can really change. Go ahead, you were gonna say. Massively, it's funny actually, because you said like, if you've got your clients doing it, and in some ways, yes, because they've asked me to, or because I've just used it as a little bit in a session, just yeah. to get some cardio out of them, and show yeah. them some bits. So there's like, there's three women that I train, um, and a guy who are now starting to really get into it because they've just had that little taste of it. And that's yeah. the thing. Mostly, though, it's my friends going, so I've bought a skipping rope. I'm like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> that's right. that's, 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 because that's how, it, that's how it happens. You know, they, they, a lot of people can watch someone else, you know, benefit from it, or they see that their mood is different. You know, is you, you get such a, a, a rush when you do it. Uh, and then they go like, you know what, I'm going to get one too, and I'm going to try it. And, and of course, most people want to try it in secret so that they don't, you know, look too stupid while they're doing it. But it's, yeah. it, it releases the little inner child in us to go play. It, it really does. does. That's exactly what it is, I think. Yeah, exactly. And, and then when you watch other people doing that, you know, when I'm watching all these, because that brings me just as much happiness, watching yes. people on Instagram yes. jumping, you know. I've been watching for that's, hours. That's how I... That's how I found you. I yeah. like, I was, and then I saw you do it. You know, I watched a lot of people. Then I saw you were like, oh, I want her on the show. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so you watch other people and it does. It gives you joy. Yeah, it does. Exactly. And, and then it also gives you something to aim for. So you can look at anything. Wow. I mean, like, imagine if I could do that. And then you get a couple of months down the line. You're like, oh, remember when I thought? Imagine if I could do that. And now I can do it. And so there's always feels like there's somewhere to go with it, which I quite like as well. Like, uh, you, you can see the progress, and that's what kind. That's what just happened now when I got up to see you jump rope. <laughs> I just like I just I just saw you, and so I asked you. So what is that? What is, so I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna have to try that. And uh, but for me, I don't put a time frame as to how long I have to like uh, get it right. I just I just do it. I just just yeah. start doing stuff, and then I do it again, and then I I change it up. And and that's what people need to keep in mind that there you can really have a major control over. Uh, this whole process of using uh, becoming a skipper using using a jump rope uh, you may never become a manchester jump roper or skipper you may but you know what they, you can always dream they can we can all always just dream all right now i have i want you to skip some more but if you don't skip anymore uh, that's okay because i i came up with something that i want to do with you 
and it's uh it's going to uh it's going to go down uh this road in which you answer some trivia questions that okay. are that are not related to jumping rope or skipping or anything like that um if it was up to me i would do two hours of of, of skipping or jump roping um with a whole bunch of people and just we'd all do it and i'd only be talking to people who want to watch it i could care less if others don't i really don't <laughs> I mean, I mean, anybody that watches my other two channels, uh, Narc Abuse TV and Red Flag uh, Podcast, uh, this particular page, the Boom 86, the whole purpose of it is to get the attention of all the jump ropers and skippers across the world that they know they can come to the Boom 86. They can they can definitely see Maggie whenever she has time to come on, and they can <laughs> see other they can see other skippers and and jump ropers from all over the world just talking about this. Uh, I just wanted a platform. I know there may be others, but I wanted one show that is mine that I get to talk about what I love the most, yeah. which is which is this, and meeting amazing people like yourself. But you will always be my special guest. <laughs> <laughs> you will always be my special guest <laughs> that will come on and, and be showcasing the things that you're experiencing uh, uh, um, in your routine and suggestions and your expertise as a personal trainer. Cool. But before I do what I'm gonna do right now, um, which is gonna take a, 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 we've got probably about 10 minutes or so thereabouts before I have to, uh, the clock over here is letting me know before I run out of time on this segment. And I wanna be able to finish with you in this one segment because I want you to come back on. We've talked about having you come back on my other Narc Abuse TV page. And we're gonna talk more about your life before uh, you started jumping rope cool. and uh, we're going to spend some time doing that uh, I look over here at my, my board over here we're going to do that next Saturday at 8.30 again you're going to be back because you're going to talk about something that means a lot to me also and that's uh, body image body positivity and we're going we're gonna to talk about body shaming and stuff like that a number of other things but mainly, we're going to talk about the diet culture today uh, yeah, and how so many women are affected by that. Uh, you were going to say something? Yeah, no, I was just agreeing with you. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, like negatively affected. And sometimes don't even realize how much. Yeah, uh, and, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that on uh, next week, Saturday, on Saturday next week at 8.30 again, but on my other uh, public service page, which is Narc Abuse TV, we're going to try to, to shed some light on how the diet culture has a big effect uh, on women today. And uh, I know we're doing my, my, one of my favorite things that we're talking about today. That is my other favorite thing to talk about. And I am so glad that I found you and that you said yes and that uh, we are going to work together to talk about those particular subjects and a whole lot more. Now, everybody's accustomed to me goofing off and having a good time when I have my shows. So you are not going to be the exception to the rule. You're going to get it, too. You're <laughs> going to get it. You, you come on with Paxton. And this is the Maggie and Paxton uh, 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 hour, as you can say, uh, jump roping. <laughs> but as I, as, I, as I pull my stuff up here in a second on my tablet, I also have <laughs> – I also have a few things to ask you, and I want to see if you can give us – your thoughts and ideas and answers to some trivia questions that have nothing to do with jump roping. Oh, my word. <laughs> nothing to do with jump roping. But there may be a moment that I will ask you to maybe end the show with jump roping. We see how much time we have, depending on how much goofy stuff I can do, because I love, like most men, doing goofy things. Because we're all little boys. We're all <laughs> little boys. We're forever trying to please the women in our life or make women laugh. But now it's your turn to answer a few things. Cool. First one, Maggie, the average person does what 13 times a day? Oh, what's they do 13 times a day? Um, hiccup? <laughs> okay, I didn't, see, I didn't see that one coming. That was pretty, that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty good, though. I thought for sure you're going to say something else, but I'm not going to tell you what I was going to say. So I thought that was pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, no, it is the, uh, the average person uh, does this 13 times a day, and that is laughs 13 oh, times a day. Only 13 we, times a day. Now, 
Now we're going to go with uh, over here on my part of the world, the States. The average American does what? 22 times a day. The average American does what? 22 times a day. Um, passes wind. I knew, See, now I thought you were going to say that for the first one. Are you trying to say, <laughs> are you trying to say all Americans are full of gas? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm not going to fight you on that one because I've, I, I've met quite a few of them since this is where I live. But that is not it. That is not the answer. It is actually a very stanky answer, but it's not the answer. It's not, <laughs> that's, that's, a very, that's a very bubbling thought, but no, that is not it. That is not it. It is the average American does what 22 times a day? They open the refrigerator. Oh, I don't. This, by the way, this that I'm reading comes from your country. I just want you to know these. These are trivia questions, funny trivia questions from the UK. So I just, I'm just. Okay, so <laughs> I don't. I don't know how they they got these answers. Okay, next one. On Sunday in Florida, it is illegal for a single woman to do what? Oh, on Sunday in Florida. Uh, it's illegal for a single woman to eat alone. I really thought you were going to say fast gas. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were. I really thought you were going to say it. Uh, seriously, I said please don't say it. Please don't say it. All right, it doesn't matter because I just said it. All right, so uh, on Sunday in Florida, it is illegal for a single woman to skydive. The skydive. I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, these wow. okay. Next, next question. Next Is question. Married. The, we huh? Think so. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. I didn't. Hear you. She's married. We assume. I mean, it's very strange. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that does, huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So if she's married, she can skydive. But if she's single, I don't. Right? Okay. Then, <laughs> man, man's laws are, are backwards a lot of times. Okay. So next one. Now here we go. What is Johnny Depp afraid of? Mm. Johnny Depp is afraid of the dark. Oh, not, that's not bad. That's a pretty good one, actually. That would fit right there. But it's, it's actually, Johnny Depp is afraid of clowns. Oh, in the dark. He's afraid of clowns yes. in the dark. They just missed up that last bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that would scare me, too. Clowns in the dark. You know, why are clowns in the dark? Okay, I'm not going to go down that road. All right. I What I'm trying to figure out, how are these UK funny questions, but they're all about the United States? I have no idea. So, so Washington police officers get a half hour class in how to do what? Ooh, uh, Washington specifically police officers would get a half yeah. hour class in how to bake bread. How to do what? Bake bread. How to did you to, to bake bread? That that's yeah. actually that's better than the answer. They get <laughs> the police officers. Let me say hello here to somebody that's coming on there. They the Washington police officers get a half hour class in how to sit down. I don't <laughs> interesting strange. Okay, uh, here we go. Who said I never had an accident worth talking about? Who said that? I never had an accident worth talking about. Um, Someone who's had a lot of accidents. Very good. That is really, really good. You're so <laughs> close. It is the captain of the Titanic. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I mean, he had the worst, worst accidents, but I guess he couldn't talk about it. Um, in, in, the, in, in the French vineyards, it's illegal to do what? It's oh. illegal in the French vineyards to do what? Drink wine. To, to, drink, to drink wine. That's pretty good. No, to land a flying saucer. But, you you oh, cannot well, land. I was going to go to a French vineyard with my flying <laughs> saucer next summer uh, as well. Damn it. All right. I, okay. So here we go. Now, this is something that you will never, ever, ever have a problem with because I say so. <laughs> I'm going to try to say this properly. The the these are this is a clim, clinical term. Coprostostrophy. <laughs> oh, excuse me, phobia. So it's a uh, cop is coprostost 
ta phobia. Okay, whatever that is. is the fear <laughs> is the fear of what? Long words that you can't yes. say. <laughs> I am I am with you. I am with you on that. Is the fear of long words. It is the fear of constipation. Oh, that is a scary thing. <laughs> this is the fear of constipation. Now, I have to ask you three questions before you have to go skip rope because I wanted to try those on you and they got exactly what I expected, which was some very weird answers that I have now <laughs> all over social media. I can edit it and just put it out there in social media, these questions and your answer. So that people people will know that you've been on this show to be abused at 8.30 in the morning, my time, and at 4.30 in the afternoon over there in New York. Okay, so three questions for you. Cool. These questions will be follow up. And I will follow them up once we do our show next week as well. Three questions. One, have you ever met the love of your life? Two, is skipping rope, jump roping, the love of your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. No, no. Number three is better. Number three is better. These three questions, it took me, like, you know, since I, from when we did the pre-show prep till now to think of all, this is how long it's taken me to come up with these three questions because I'm a guy and we have small, small thinking capability. All right, so. Third question, very important question. All of these things will be reviewed next Saturday when we get together again. Was there a moment in your life that you were so emotionally drained that you didn't know what was going to come next? Yes. So you answered three questions, and we'll talk more about them next Saturday. Anybody that wants to come along, there's a pretty good chance that you may have a jump rope. But really, we're going to, that uh, next weekend, I'm going to put my tie on. We're going to sit around, and I'm going to do it like you're having an open session discussion about stuff. You can get all glammed up if you like. I leave that totally to you. And we're just going to sit around and talk about our emotions that and, things that, and things that we've gone through but we're really going to talk about the diet culture <laughs> and what, what's going on with, uh, with women today and uh, how jump roping can, can be a help to them. But uh, right now, I have a few moments before I have to go. I want you to take us out jumping rope and saying goodbye to everybody. But just do, do whatever you want to do. You can, you, I, whatever you want to do, but whatever it is, I, all my eyes are on you. <laughs> just so fun. This is what your friends about. It's just about having fun. That's what you should always do. It doesn't matter if you trip over the road, you just keep going. Woo! Come on. Wow. <laughs> You know what's so cool is we have no idea. So, so, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was because, because we can't we can't do it. We can't do it. No, okay, no. I I saw you doing that. I saw you doing that in one of your videos. Okay, do that. Wait, do that again. What you did with the rope. Okay, I'm done. Oh, that was pretty cool. And yesterday I learned this one. It's like 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 it's I'm like, oh, I know I can do it. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know I can do it. I can do it. I'll just try it all the time. I know I can do it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you, you know, I'm gonna tell you, you've been you've been the best guest to get this. I was, I, I have been virtually losing sleep thinking about doing some jump roping show. And then you said yes, and then I was losing sleep and thinking to myself, I hope she enjoys herself because <laughs> I 